Hello! <laughs> Welcome to another wonderful edition of Science Squad. Um, I have my little trusty helper here, Natalia, and we're in my backyard today, so sorry about the wind. Today we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. What you will need is two packets of Rapid Rise Instant Yeast, food coloring because you know that's just how we roll all the time. We always have the food coloring. Dish soap, hydrogen peroxide. I didn't have a funnel, so I made one myself. Measuring utensils and warm water. So today, Talia and I are gonna show you how to make elephant toothpaste. Keep in mind, we've never made it, so what do you think is gonna happen? I don't know. <laughs> do you think we're gonna blow everything up? Yeah. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so today we have stuff pre-measured out. And so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna get our warm water. And what that is, is eight tablespoons of warm water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into the yeast cup. Two packets of yeast. Pour the warm water into the yeast. Here's your little spoon. Stir that up for 30 seconds. One, 1,000. Two, 1,000. Just getting three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, nine, thirty. Yay! Here's the first look. Ooh, looks pretty good. Oh, man. Okay, so now that we have that all mixed up, I'm not really going to show you, but it just kind of looks like old milk or something. <laughs> I don't know. But we're going to just keep that right here really quick. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna pour our, how much is that? Two cups of peroxide into our little daily here. And I really hope that this isn't too big of a um, container. I just kind of wanted you guys to get the full effect. So that's the two cups of peroxide. And then we're gonna get our favorite color. Well, it's not my favorite color, they don't have purple. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick the yellow. I'm gonna pick blue. Tali opted for blue. She loves blue. And so we're going to put about 20 drops of the food coloring, okay? Let's see what happens. I'm excited for this. And I bet you it's gonna make a mess, so please probably don't do this inside your home or um, a place that your parents or yourself, you don't want to damage. This time we didn't get it all over our hands, um, but as you can see, the peroxide with the, oh my goodness, the food coloring looks pretty cool. Next, what we're going to do is get the yeast going. And we're gonna get the funnel Pour that yeast into there. And then a little bit of the dish soap. You see how it's going up? Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dish soap first and see how that works. Here goes nothing. Ooh -wee. Well, that looks really cool. Can I touch it? Hmm, good question. I mean, I'm not sure whether anybody else should touch this just because all the different stuff that it has inside of it. Um, but what I will say is Touch at your own risk. <laughs> I'm your mom, so I don't mind so much. Um, it smells good. But I think that's really cool. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. 
but it makes for a pretty reaction and I like it. I like colorful stuff, so. Anyway, it smells really good. Don't do anything else with it. Don't eat it. Yes. And maybe after you're done, <laughs> pour it down your sink. But don't get dirty. But anyway, I just thought that this is just kind of like one of those experiments that we would share. And we like colorful things, so science squad, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.